Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindering in mind and body alike, we may... Pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They may have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man who fear the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fear the Lord, who greatly de delight in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shine through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affair with justice, he shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please all stand. The 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray without, always without becoming weary. He said, there, is a, there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And the widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for, for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling. But eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of His chosen ones who call out to Him day and night? Will He be slow to answer them? I tell you, He will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will He find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. At times, we may get weary and tired. Wala naman po sigurong exempted sa ganon. Napapagod, napangihinaan ng loob, Isa, nawawala ng pag-asa. Pero, sa kabila ng kawala ng pag-asa, kabila ng pagod, ano ba ang ginagawa natin? Doon nagkakatalo. How do we deal the weariness in our lives? At aminin natin, siguro, dala na rin ang mga nababasa natin sa social media, na sinasabi sa atin, pagpagod, anong gagawin? Kadalasan ang sinasabi, umayaw. Sumuko, bumitaw, sa mga nagtatrabaho, yung salitang resign. <laughs> Pero maganda makita sa ating Ibanghelyo, Nasa sa kabila ng kapaguran, minsan ay nagdadasal tayo, pero parang wala naman nangyayari. Dasal ka ng dasal, pero sabi mo, Lord, kailan mo sasagutin yung panalangin ko? Araw-araw, Lord, nasa Kiapo na ako ha. Isang linggo na akong punta ng punta sa Kiapo. Lord, ba't di mo pa dina, 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 sinasagot yung panalangin ko? Minsan, nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa sa ganoon eh. Napanghihinaan tayo ng loob minsan. Tapos paglabas mo, ay magsasabi sa'yo, Bili ka nito! Masasagot ang panalangin mo! <laughs> ay, ikaw naman, bumili ka. T.Y. <laughs> Pero, kung titignan natin yung ibanghelyo natin, pinapaalalahanan tayo na magpatuloy. At siguro ito yung salita na dapat nating ulit-ulitin bilang Kristiyano, hindi pagsuko, hindi pag-ayaw at pagbitaw, kundi sa kabila ng tilay pagiging pagod, pagpapatuloy at pagpapahinga. sa kabila ng patuloy ng pagdadasal at sinasabing, Lord, kailan mo ba sasagutin ang panalangin ko? Nakita natin sa parabola ni Jesus, this woman in the gospel never stopped until she got what she was asking for. Never stop praying. Never stop asking.
until she got that just decision that the judge rendered her in the parable. Sa buhay din natin, minsan maganda rin sa ulit-ulitin sa buhay natin bilang Kristiyano, to never stop. Never stop praying. Never stop believing. Never stop hoping. Never stop trusting the Lord who loves us. At siguro, ito yung magandang pwedeng hilingin din natin sa mahal na pong Isus na Sareno. As you celebrate this Pilgrim's Mass, and acknowledging the different pilgrims coming from different places, even pilgrims and devotees who are abroad and would like to join us in the celebration of the Eucharist, let this word of God sing to us right now that in the world, in the world, when the world would want to tell us to stop hoping, stop believing, stop trusting, we can look with faith and say, I will never stop hoping, trusting, and believing God. My prayers might not be answered right away. My prayers might not may, might be might be delayed by God, but I will never stop hoping and trusting Him. Di ba para sa atin mga Kristiano, lagi din natin sinasabi in God's time. Not our time. In God's time. And until we reach that God's time in our lives where His promises will be fulfilled or our prayers will be answered, we never stop hoping, trusting, and praying. And if we do that, we grow in faith, we grow in trust, we grow in hope. Because a person who never stops, never stops growing also. A person who never stops, never stops growing also. Kaya sana ang ebanghelyo natin ay maging source din natin ng ating pag-asa na huwag mapanginaan ng loob, pagsumuko, magpatuloy sa pagdarasal, magpatuloy sa pag-asa at pagtiwala sa Diyos. Dahil ang Diyos na pinagmumulan ng lahat ng kabutihan ay ibibigay sa atin ang kahilingan at pinagdadasal natin sa panahon niya. Hindi panahon natin, panahon niya. Kung ganun ang gagawin, our faith grows, our faith matures, we grow as Christians. Amen. Please all stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way to conversion and renewal. As we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its ministers, may persevere amidst all her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Lord, he I am to answer your call. Lord, he I am to serve and love you. I Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here. Thus, celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly, into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng amen pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago mali sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. Lead me, 
by the sun, make the peace, the rising sun. Come forth beyond the things and like baby. There's no other hope that I can be upon. Lead me, Lord, lead me. Across the lonely road of every day, take my arms and let your hands show me the way. Show the way to live inside your love. Lead me, Lord. Lead me. Announcement, inihahandog po ng programang Home Base Plus ang mga kwento ng Himala ng Poong Jesus Nazareno. Ito po ay mga dokumentaryo sa mga buhay na nabinago ng ating Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Mapapanood po ito bukas linggo sa ganap na ikaanim ng umaga sa GMA 7. Gayon din, para sa mga nais magbahagi ng kanilang mga kwento 
ng Himala ng Nazareno, mangyari na mag-email sa Himala Nazareno at gmail.com. Inaanyan po ang lahat na sumubaybay. Available pa rin po ang ating mga All Souls envelopes sa mga nagnanais. Maari kayong kumuha na malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan o sa Information Guard. Isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakibilang buhay na. At sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay ating isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na nagagaganap sa ating simbahan. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig, pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar, tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Menor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Magsitayo po ang lahat. Let us pray. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Let us pray, continue to pray for our dearly departed. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant unto the soul of your servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that through devout supplications they may obtain the pardon which we have, they have always desired. Absolve, O Lord, we beseech you, the souls of your servants and handmaids, that ev from every bond of sin, that in the glory of the resurrection, they may be raised with your saints and elect into the newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O Lord, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in most need of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions, bless these religious articles, that they may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts to the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipinto ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan, Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno. 
Nazareno Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Cristo Padre Jesus Nazareno Pinarangal ka na aming Cristo Padre Jesus Nazareno Pinulwalhati ka na aming Cristo Padre Jesus Nazareno Pinarangal ka na aming Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, pinulwalhati ka 